Hi there, I'm Ms. Artastic, and in this video, I'm going to be talking about how to find an art curriculum. So let's dive in on this episode and let's make some art. Alright, so very first thing is to see if your state or province offers any resources. So I would contact your district. Um, or and just see what like what resources are available maybe your state or province already has a curriculum that they like to go by um you can see if they can if you can get resources for that basically i would inquire with your district and see what um resources are available for you um and also if your if province or state offers anything number two is you can create your own um curriculum by mapping out your year so mapping out your scope and sequence and then inter inserting your standards of what standards you want to cover or curricular content pieces you want to cover in each month to make sure you're going to cover all of the ones you are expected to teach throughout the year um, and then you can um, think of different art lessons that you're going to that will be good for each of those standards right like so i would try to group do have two to three standards per lesson, right? You're not, or more, depends on the lesson, right? A unit should cover quite a bit. So think about designing units and lessons that are gonna cover those standards um, throughout the year. And then once you've done that, you can make all your lesson plans for those and then design all your worksheets and then design all your examples. And I know it's a lot of work, but you can think about it as doing the hard work once and then be done forever, right? So you're gonna want to keep these things um, and laminate sheets, sorry, not and those sleeves, right? Those clear plastic sleeves. You can keep all your lesson plans and examples and worksheets with it and their binders, and then that way it's ready to go year after year, um, keeping your scope and sequence so that way you're not you're just doing the hard work once and then you're gonna be done forever. Um, number three is you can search online or again ask your district um, if they have any suggestions or approved curriculums that you can use in your classroom. Um, it's a really great idea to start there, especially if you want to save some money, they might already have something um, or some suggestions. Um, we'll just search online for some different curriculums that you could use that are appropriate for where you live. Um, number four is if you can't find anything and you're really struggling to look for one and you want one that's done for you, you're like, I don't have time to sit there and map out um, my scope and sequence and I don't have time to make a lesson plan for every single thing. Like I have a family, I have lots of hobbies, I want to go skiing on the weekends, whatever it is. Um, I want to just have my own life outside of being a teacher and that's okay too like for real like you should you should have a life outside of teaching um and and explore your own passions or you got to re-energize in order to go back the next day and do it all again in a positive way right it's a lot of energy and um so if you can't find one or you're looking for one, you can always try the Artastic Collective Art Curriculum. It is my art curriculum that I offer as a membership where I add new art lessons every single month. And you can have, it covers um, the elements of art and principles of design, um, artists and art history. There are art lessons for all the holidays and seasons and ceramics and sculpture um, and sketchbooks. There's also an art teacher growth course included to help you plan from back to school all the way through the end of the year. And I'll include all the resources for that as well as it has an exclusive community form. So if you want to check it out, it is our Tastic Collective Art Curriculum and you can scan the QR code on the screen or find the link to it in the description below the video or simply Google Artastic Collective Art Curriculum. It opens two times a year. Um, so you can wait for the enrollment uh, make sure you get on the wait list right now um, because once in, I open enrollment, enrollment is only going to be open for five short days. So it's really important that you join when enrollment starts because it's a lot of work for me to help out the new students once they join. So that's why I only open it for a little bit. So that way it is something manageable and I can make sure I give everybody um, the attention that they deserve. So if you want to join your Tastic Collective Art Curriculum, make sure that um, you get on the wait list right now and know that it's going to open in January or in August of every single year. And every year I also add a new annual grand bundle for you to enjoy so you always get tons of new art resources added plus you get to enjoy all the annual grand bundles that were added from previous years. Oh, it is so exciting and I can't wait for you to join. So make sure you check it out, Artastic Collective Art Curriculum. All right, my 
my friends, your next, your, your question for this video is what art lesson are you going to teach next in your class? I want to hear what you're going to teach next. I'm so excited to hear about it. So let me know in the comment section of this video and I will personally respond. Your next video to watch is how to set up classroom routines. How to set up classroom routines. You can watch that video by clicking the link above or in the description of the video and I'll see you in that episode.